Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to do a mini haul of uh, all the stuff I bought from Colourpop because I'm getting really into the brand as of late and some other things I picked up, like some things are from Ulta well half of it is like from Ulta and half of it is Colourpop and then one is from like the Nabla Cosmetics you know? but okay um I'm just, I guess I'll just start with the Colourpop stuff I got the Yes Please palette because ever since it came out I've been eyeing it and I really wanted the Natasha Denona Sunset palette But um, that is a pretty penny. It is a pretty pretty penny. I cannot afford it. This palette was as close as I was possibly gonna get to it So I bought it and it's so pretty like Warm palettes. I will never step away from these warm palettes like they have my heart I should really get into probably cool tones, but Warm palettes. I don't know what to tell you. They're just so beautiful. Uh, other stuff I got from Colourpop is their... I got two lippies. I think they're both ultra mattes. Yes. They are both ultra mattes. And I got them in the shade Love Bug and Mama. I have been eyeing these for like a really long time also. And I just... For some reason, I just never went and, you know... Just Went on the clip hop site and bought myself some stuff. That's it. Here we go. Um, of course. They are oranges. Like, what can I tell you? Uh, this color is Mama. And the other one is Love Book. Hmm. I love the names. I'll try and swatch them really quick, though I'm pretty sure. These have been out for a while. So, swatches are probably already available, but, um... I'm gonna swatch this right here. Oh, that's such a pretty color. <gasps> Look at it. Look at that. That was Mama. And then, here is Love Bug, which is slightly deeper. It's kind of the same tone. Maybe a bit more mauve is in this one. Mauve it over. Oh God, I suck at this. But here are the two swatches. I suck at swatches, but those are such pretty colors. I can't. I can't with these. Like color pop. Why have I taken so long to try your stuff out? You guys always come out. It's like I watch all the collections come out and I never buy anything. I definitely am happy to finally try them out. And they have a whole bunch of other stuff I want to try. I really want to get some stuff from their butterfly collection. I also got their brow boss gel. I love me some brow gel because I'm very low maintenance with my brows. I have bangs, but you can't see them anyways. So I guess in a way it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's so cute, such cute packaging. I love how tiny it is. Yeah, it's a clear color. I didn't notice, I can't remember if they have any colored gels. If they don't, they should definitely come out with them. I would totally try it in a color gel. It's really white. It looks kind of like glue. I don't know how I feel about it being white, you know? I hope it doesn't do like a weird white cast thing, you know, on my brows. But then again, you can't see my brows because I have bangs. And the last item I got from Colourpop is their concealer. I was so excited to get this. And I don't know why it took so long, but I got the color Light neutral, and I'm also going to just, you know, swatch a roomy on my arm. Hopefully this color works for me. I haven't watched too many reviews on these ColourPop concealers, so I'm really excited to try them. See how it works. I don't know if you can see that, I like blending right into my skin, kind of. But I'm not too close to my monitor, so I can't really tell. Oh no, it's more peachy. Ah. It got darker as it's drying. I hope this color will still work for my face because I'm pretty pale. If not, I'll just, you know, try it out, see if I like the formula. And if I do, I'll just buy a lighter shade. Easy fix. No problem over here. Next up, I'm going to just talk about the one thing I got from Nablo, which is their Dreamy palette. I have been dying over this. As much as I love my warm toned palettes, there is just something about purples and pinks. I don't use them as often, but I love them. They're gorgeous colors, and I love when I actually do use them. But here is inside, I'm sure 
you know, you probably have already seen this palette, but I am so happy I got it. It is so beautiful. This color scheme is another color scheme that I really love. I love pinks and purples. Though I hate pink lipstick. I won't wear, I don't really like wearing pink lipstick. And the packaging is so cute, look at it. It's, just, it's perfect. It's perfect. Perfect. Got nothing bad to say at this point, but again, I haven't tried it. Final thing I'm gonna go over is all the stuff I bought from Ulta, which is one of my favorite places to go makeup shopping, you know? Um, I bought the Conceal and Perfect Foundation from Milani since they came out with new shades. I bought this like over a year ago. I don't remember how it performed on my face at all, so I'm excited to try it again. But also, the color I got was the number, yeah, the number two shade. I don't remember what it's called, but it was too dark for one. And a wee bit too orange, not orange, yellow. I cannot wear foundation that is too yellow. It makes makes me look funny or too pink. I need neutrals, neutral toned foundations. But I got this color, 00B Light. Hopefully, you know, it works for me, but I love the packaging. I love that it's glass and it has the gradient from black to the foundation color. It looks pretty for drugstore and I really appreciate it. There's so much more I wanna try from Milani, like I love their blushes. Their blushes are great. But I really wanna try those new eyeshadow palettes that they came out with. Um, they kinda of remind me of the Stila ones, but I'm really excited to try those. I cannot get enough of eyeshadow palettes. And speaking of eyeshadow palettes, of course. I bought Anastasia Soft Glam. How could I not? I mean, it's so beautiful. I had to get it. Like everything Anastasia comes out with, like I've said before, oh look, I just want it. They're my favorite brand. They can take all my money. Take it all. Take my whole paycheck. I'm just kidding, I need to pay my bills. It's a typical neutral palette, which I don't mind. I love neutrals. Heck, what am I talking about? I just love eyeshadow palettes in general. I'll buy a cool tone one if it catches my fancy. It doesn't matter. The largest amount of makeup I have are eyeshadows. Like, out of all my makeup, the majority of it is eyeshadows. Granted, my makeup collection isn't, like, enormous. But the majority of my stuff, I'd say 50% of my stuff are eyeshadow palettes. I just, I love them so much. I can't, I can't, I love them. I also bought myself a new face powder since I was running low on the Essence one I tried and I decided to go for Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder Waterproof Transparent. It looked like this. I kinda like the packaging. It's hard plastic, sturdy. And inside it's like this. Um, It's kind of like a really pale, beige shade, which I hope will work for me. The Essence one kind of lightened my foundation a bit and made me look paler than I already am. So I didn't appreciate that aspect as much. Second to last item that I got is the Tarte Cosmetics Tartist Mascara. I spoke about how I needed a new mascara. My cosmetic one was dried out and I've always wanted to try this Tarte one. I love the packaging, the black and gold, man. It is so pretty. Let's look at the brush. Oh, the brush is really, really spiky. I don't know if this... Focus on it, cause you know. But um, yeah, this is really spiky. I hope I don't poke my eye out. I don't know how I feel about the brush. I like them. Typical mascaras like have fuller bristles. These are kind of like really spread out, tiny and spiky looking. So I don't know if that'll work. You know, I'm excited to try the mascara. And I bought it while Ulta was doing like their five times points. You know how they do that on certain brands? That's when I definitely always buy stuff from Ulta, especially when it's brands I love. Ulta, you get me every time. Um, last item is Echo Tools Perfecting Cushion Blender. I tried the other blender they had that is more like, looks like a beauty blender, but it's like, is it cut? I think there's a side of it that's cut off, right? I can't remember. But anyways, I hope you know what I'm talking about, the other green sponge, but I bought this one. So I want to try out a new sponge. 
I just like the shape of it, you know, it's curvaceous. Yeah, it's kind of sexy. Sexy and curvaceous. You know, I'm excited to try that out. Um, but yeah, that is it for my little mini haul. I'm kind of addicted to makeup, if you haven't noticed. Or clothes. It's one or the other. I've just been buying myself makeup. It's either clothes or makeup. Like, I'll go on a binge and I'll just buy myself a whole bunch of clothing items, but not makeup. Or it's reverse, you know, vice versa. I'll buy myself a crap ton of makeup and not buy myself like a stitch of new clothing. I don't know. It's like opposite sides of the spectrum. I can't do one or the other at the same time. I can't do it. My next video, or maybe after my next video, I'm not sure. I might do my 2-4 box unboxing. I'm gonna try and be on time this time. But I am going to do like a try on with my new makeup, you know, just put it all on my face, splatter it, just paint my face with it, just put it everywhere, it doesn't matter. But most likely I'll be using most of my ColourPop stuff. I mean, I bought three eyeshadow palettes, I can't use them all in one video. Yeah, my next video I'll probably just, you know, do a try on and use all the ColourPop stuff. I'll probably also try the sponge. This new foundation, hopefully it matches me and it's not too light or too dark. And then also my new mascara. So, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I keep ha I have a bad habit of looking at the monitor instead of at the camera lens. I need to stop doing that. Okay, okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed all this makeup that I've purchased, you know, recently. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Toodles. To the love. Hey, babe, I love you. <laughs> Nothing back? Jeez. Thanks. But hello, everybody. I'm moving my brows, but you can't tell. I spaced again. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.